my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm just going to play with makeup I have some new stuff here I have a new palette from Rebel Rouge Labs the collaboration with Alexa the bubblegum palette I'm going to play with and it's basically a complete eye and face palette I also have a new shade from House Labs this is the shade uh, 30 Fair Cool let's see if that's a better match I have Another bronzer shade. This is number two. Uh, I have, I'm still trying out powder from Kiko. I can try out a little bit more of the brushes that are new. And um, I'm going to film it. That's basically it. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands. Hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means I'm green. I'm a light to light, medium, warm-ish olive. The relatively vintage means I am 46. I also have ADHD and I'm autistic. So I usually call myself the mystery box. because, Or a box of chocolate. Because you never know what you're going to get. Yes. <coughs> Uh, you, you see several friends here popping up. Um, let's hope we can cover them today. But yeah, I will leave the makeup that I mentioned today or that I used today down below in the description box. I am going to start, however, with um, foundation. It's usually what I start with. So let's start with the foundation. So I have the House Labs, as I said, in shade 30. And I also have <coughs> shade 190. You can kind of see... That 190 is almost my summer color, and this this is this is a lot lighter. So let's see if it all let's see if it's the correct color. I, I actually don't know. I don't know. So let's put a little bit on the sheet. Let's grab a sponge. Ooh. That's 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 yeah it's a little too light if i really buff it out so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of shade 190 now i used to use just 190 and then lighten it up with a white uh, foundation mixer but i thought that shade 30 would be a better match and uh, it's it's probably my kind of very much pale winter depth that looks to be a little bit better. Can you stay there, honey buns? Otherwise, I will have hairs in my foundation. Is that a bit better? I, I think so. We, we can make it work, though. We can bronze it up. Now, my skin is 46. Um, my skin type is normal. I can get a little bit, well, normal to dry. I can get a little bit oily. You know, if it's hot as hell outside, I'm sweaty. What can I say? Sweaty slash oily. Um, <clears throat> but I can also have dry skin or a little bit dehydrated, especially on my cheeks. I don't know. I really, really enjoy this foundation. I like it with a brush. I like it with a sponge. Hence the fact that I bought another shade. Let's also bring it down my neck a little. It looks so, so light on camera. It's actually okay. When I look in my mirror, it's actually okay. It is too light, but it's okay. Also, it I don't know. I always feel that it looks a little bit weird when you just put foundation on without any, I don't know, sculpting. Okay. Something like that, I think. Let me grab a concealer. I think you can only see basically a dark blob on the side of the screen. It's one of the cats. This is Cleo. She's vocal and a loud licker. But I think they all are. Anyway. So this is what it's looking right, like right now. I do feel that I have hairs everywhere. Which is not weird. Because that's just what happens in my household. But I love the foundation. Uh, it's just that I, I, I kind of wish that the color was... Maybe one or two shades darker. I can make it work though, as you saw. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to powder next. Because the bubblegum palette that I have, um, I want to use it for eyes, but I also want to use it for face. And I'm not going to do uh, cream underneath. 
clip out my concealer a little bit. I have the Kiko Milano powder. Uh, technically, it's uh, no. Let's use let's use a setting powder and the Kiko Milano as it is intended, a finishing powder. So let me grab. Let's also grab the House Labs powder because I can. And let's set the face. So maybe we can also chat a little bit. Um, I am getting new tattoos and I'm actually pretty excited about that. Well, I'm always excited to get new ink. Um, <clears throat> but I'm very, very excited. I am the 21st of December. I don't really know when you're seeing this video. On the Yuletide day or the winter solstice, I am getting the rest of my finger tattoos. And the date is selected specifically because I don't know if you know this. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably do know. But my dog passed away a few months ago and I made a bind rune of her name. And I'm going to get that tattooed and we're also going to incorporate her ashes. <laughs> In the tattoo because my tattoo artist does that. So, <clears throat> and then I'm getting some other symbols on my fingers as well. They will be um, the ones that I already have will be um, fixed a little bit because some do need to get some need to be fixed a bit because yeah, fingers kind of tend to eat up uh, ink a little bit. So, I'm very excited about that. The powder makes it match me better. I feel at least. So that is good. Let's then go next to bronzer because that's the next step that I have. This is light level 2. Let me also show you the one that I already had, which is light level 4, which is a medium. Or no, a neutral. <clears throat> the light level 2 is described as, I think, light golden. So here is the difference. Uh, let's see how... Why does it make... Why, does, why do you see more pink? Because you're not... Hmm, interesting. I'm going to swatch them both. It is a moussey, kind of a moussey texture. I know some people have trouble picking it up with a brush. <clears throat> I found my perfect brush for it. But here they are. So this is light level 4. This is light level 2. And it still looks pretty, I don't know, pretty pink almost on my hand. But it does work very, very well on my face. So the brush that I found works for me the best is actually the powder brush from Lethal. So this is the 100 powder brush that I use for bronzer. And it just picks it up so well. So in the beginning, I kind of had a little bit of trouble picking out the brushes that I wanted to use for this. <clears throat> but I have found that this one works the best for me. Now, you don't need this specific brush. However, this is a synthetic brush. And synthetic brush is a little bit better suited to pick up kind of creamier textures, if, if that makes any sense. But if you have a shape like this, <clears throat> try it if you have this bronzer. So I'm just tapping it in. And you can see that it picks up very, very well. Tap off and then just... On the high points, kind of lightly buff it over. And kind of swipe back into my hairline a little bit. And I think you can also already see that it is nice and light, which I really, really prefer, especially in winter. And I just basically stick to the outer parts of my face. And then go down a little bit. So I'm kind of getting close to my <coughs> ears. I can also kind of put it underneath my cheeks, but I don't want to bring it too much forward. Just to sculpt a little. But I don't feel like I have... I, I really, really like the color. I think the color works very, very well for me. I think that even though they say that this is kind of a golden, I almost think that if you are... I don't know if you're... Why does it show up so pink on camera? Hmm. Let's see if I can kind of finick with the settings a little bit. I hope I'm not too green right now. I kind of toned down the redness through my camera a little bit more. And now when I look in the mirror and I look in the screen, it, it looks better. It looks better, the color. 
I love this formula. <clears throat> Hence the fact that I bought another one. I can probably still get this one to work for me in summer, which is the neutral four, because in summer I am I am a little bit more golden almost. And uh, <clears throat> right now I really, really love this. Oh, a lot. And yeah, as I said, kind of a, a bigger powder brush. Try it and see if that works for you. Okay. I'm going to do my brows quickly, I hope. Okay, so apparently they are they are in their bushy stage today, which is fine. Okay, I am I'm going to try this palette. So I don't really know the blush yet. What I want to use. I don't know. So we're just going to do eyes first. I think I'm going to start with uh, shade obsessed because I can. I'm going to go to a denser brush, a little bit smaller, and put that shade here. That's a cute pink. I'm not really into the pinks. I I don't use a lot of pink shadows, but the shadows that are in here, uh, I like the color of. And you can double them, right? You can use them for your eyes and for your face. This blends out nicely. I love Rebel's formula. Rebel Rouge Lives. Next, I'm going to go to the shade Genoese. That one. I'm just going to go next to it. My brush looks dirty, but I did clean it. That's a very cute color. It's basically, I don't know, three swipes in the pan and then tap it on with kind of a... The brush that I have is a little bit more dense, but not very, very dense. So the pigment is very, is very nice. However, remind yourself that I am a light coloring, right? I don't know how it will perform on a darker skin tone. I'm, I'm kind of trying to use them all. So I'm going to go next to that one, which is the shade Licorice. I'm always amazed by your... Uh, by the American version of licorice. Ours is just, it's it's black or dark brown. Let's chat about the tattoos. So the tattoos that I have on my fingers are... Uh, I have a snake here. I have, this one needs to be adjusted because it's, it stands for um, seagull. But right now it looks like... Aries, and that's not what I want. Then I have the moon face, and then on my pinky I have the symbol for the the year wheel. And then here I have water, and if you flip it, it's Aquarius, which is me. Then I have what? What do I have here? Oh, my fingers eating it up. I have a spiral. Uh, I have one that I already had, which is kind of a ring tattoo with my first letter of my son's name. Then we have the spider web. Above that we have the spider, and here we have the. Is it called an ignis? That one, they also, they all kind of need to uh, be, is that dirt or is did my finger? Oh no, it was dirt. It was foundation. Um, but they kind of need to, you know, uh, be made a little bit better. And that's, that's just the nature of a finger tattoo. And then the ones that I'll be getting, uh, I'm going to go next actually to the shade, uh, the Pompadour, that one. What I will be getting is the Triscala, which is the Holy Trinity. And um, it's going to be... Oh, that's really nice. Um, and I'll get the sign, the Chinese symbol for the ox, because my husband is born in the year of the ox, and actually my mother is as well. And I will also get an hourglass with the bottom dark. For as above, so below. And it's inspired by the Midnight Club. I don't know if you watched that show on Netflix. I loved that show a lot. And it's inspired by that. But they have it, at least in my opinion, upside down. Because they have the dark part up. And I want the dark part on the bottom. Because it's it's not times up. But it is as above, so below. So, so basically earth and sky. I'm going to go back to that orange shade, uh, Genoise, Genoise. It 
cute now personally i would love a little bit more depth in the outer corner just because of my eye shape so let me get let me get their other palette that i also have here which is the as the world falls down i'm going to grab i'm going to grab the black lightly I don't want it very, very black. I just want a little bit of definition. So I'm just going to blend it over. That's why I grabbed a small brush. And then I'm going to go back into the colors that I used. And blend those over the black. So that it sandwiches itself between the colors. And I just get the depth instead of the black. I'm just blending whatever I have left on that small brush that I use for the black on my lower lashes. Again, to get a little bit of definition. Okay. Um, I am going to go to the shimmers and I'm going to start with my shimmer primer that I always use, which is from Death and Candy Custom Creations. It's a gel base. And I have a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm kind of going to work my brush in a little. I'm going to tap that on my eyelid. On top of the matte shadow. And I'm not going to swipe. I don't want to clean my lid. I don't think that these shadows need it. But I th this is what I do. So Then I'm drying my brush a little bit on the towel that I have here. And I'm going to go to the shade Love Letter. That's going to go on my lid. I'm going to go to the shade Pompadour, which was the darkest pink, and I'm going to put that on top here a little. And go to the shade Petit Triangle. That one. I am making a very big mess. And then I'm going to go to the shade Al West, which is the basically the highlightery shade in the palette. Cutie. Let me finish off the eyes and then we can basically do, do the face as well. I'm going to show you how I did that. So <clears throat> I have a very flat angle brush and I'm actually extending my bottom lid up and then in. So we have that. I'm kind of going to see if the shape is nice. So with my eyes relaxed, looking forward, I'm just going to make sure. And this is eyeshadow that I'm using. That it is the shape that I want. And then I'm going to look down. And kind of kind of fill it in a little. And you can see I'm kind of leaving a gap. It's all optical illusion. Like that. Okay, I finished off the eyes with an eye pencil. I tightlined with a black eye pencil from V Cosmetics. And in my waterline, I put the hot pink. I thought it would just be fun. Uh, the wing that I kind of showed you, I did fade it out a hint so that the colors are not that sharp. And I cleaned up a little bit here on the outer part. Falsies are from Baby Doll in the style 610. These are Primark exclusive. They actually sent me a I think it's a five pack of uh, falsies that are Primark exclusive. And this is the style 661. No, yes, yeah, 610. So I really like baby doll falsies. Uh, I, I really, really do. So every time I am at Primark, I kind of stock up on my favorite, which is style 723, which is very, very close on the eye to the dreamlike falsies from Unearthly Cosmetics. So yeah, uh, let me finish off the face because I feel kind of flat. The only shade I haven't used is this one, the hot pink. However, it's not really a blush color that I, I enjoy. I kind of want to use this as a blush. But I do want to use that. So we're going to use that one. So let's grab 
let's grab the blush brush from uh, lethal i'm still kind of trying out these brushes i really really love them so i'm very lightly basically pressing my brush in and i get quite a bit so let's tap it off and i always start here lightly that's not a bad color I think that is a pretty color. However, I'm kind of going to have fun with this. So I think I'm also going to use the shade Licorice, which is that more orangey shade, kind of a little bit here. Never really that fancy with blush, but let's just go for it because I can. So again, I kind of want to have a little bit of blush draping. Cool, cool. I am going to go to a flame top brush. We also have one from Lethal. So let's try that for the shade Genoese, which was the that orangey. It blends out very easily. I'm going to go back to my bronzer as well to kind of blend that in a little bit more. Not really blend it in, but kind of make sure. Highlighter. Uh, I'm going to use the that, that half moon shade. Uh, this one for highlighter as well it is a nice smooth formula which i really enjoy so i usually don't do this but let's just for funsies pretty now we're going to use the finishing powder from kiko milano and i'll show you how to use one of those so i have a flame top brush because that is what i love to use to blend i'm just going to blend it over everything and this way you can blend everything in and if you're like oh no i use a little bit too much bronzer or too much blush This is a great way to kind of tone it down a little bit. Last thing I'm going to do is uh, setting spray. I actually grabbed or actually bought a new one from uh, Catrice. This is from their Villains line. This is the Cruella, Cruella. I just needed this. So. Oh yes, and this fan I actually bought for two euro at Action last summer or this summer. It's kind of a thing. That I think they call it. It's in in it's in the you. It's scorching hot outside section, so you don't need an expensive one. This works fine as well. Uh, let me go over the things that I use. So let's start with the House Labs foundation. I love the foundation. Uh, it's it's very pale though. So it's probably my winter winter shade. So if you are my shade and you were hoping that this would match you perfectly, it probably won't because it's way too light. I actually don't know if there is one step darker in olive slash golden. I don't know, but I personally don't mind having two in this foundation. That's how much I love the foundation. So I am very happy that I have the lighter shade. The bronzer in light level 2, it matches me very well. I, I think it looks very, very pretty. It's not too orange. It's not too red. Um, it, just, it just gives me a nice color. And I love the formula, especially now that I know that with this brush, it works very, very well in picking it up. So again, if you kind of have a dense powder brush like this, try try it and make sure that it's a synthetic one i think that will help as well um i think then we have the eyeshadow palette right oh i forgot to mention the lippy i also am wearing a liquid lipstick from rebel rouge labs in the shade right that's what i have on my lips okay let's go to the palette let's start with the performance of this first so the mattes blended very very nicely now now that i kind of look at it these two they're not really and and this one as well they're not satins but there is a hint of a sheen in there that you can probably see a little bit on the face uh, i don't really see it on my eyes though i think that they, they were nice and pigmented but still buildable if you use a brush that's a little bit denser you just have more concentration of color on your eye right so if you find that there's a shadow that's a little bit too light for you or you may have a little bit of trouble showing up try 
packing it on with a denser brush a little bit but when i did that and i could still really easily blend it out i really love the selection of colors that they have here the only thing that it would make it a standalone palette for me is if i had a dark shade in there to deepen up my makeup but that is my preference as you see I have, I just pulled in another black. That's all, that's okay. I could also pull in, I don't know, a dark uh, berry or a dark, almost a dark red or a dark brown, you know, to get the color that I want. But that's, again, personal preference. The shimmers that are in here are very nice as well. Uh, they are nice and these two are very nice and smooth. I think that you can use this also as a blush topper if you prefer, if you're very cool toned, for instance, or maybe you just want to use this as a highlighter. This shade here swatched very, very well. The brush that I used, though, had a little trouble picking it up. However, it is also a very, very small brush. It kind of feels like this palette is very much designed to be a hybrid between eyes and face. The pans are a little bit bigger. The colors that are in here. So if you love this color story for on your eyes, do that. How would I use this palette? I think I will use this more as a face palette because the colors that are in here are colors that I really enjoy in blushes. I do like the fact that I can do everything with one palette though. But it worked beautifully as eyeshadow. It worked beautifully as face products. I think it's a very, very cool palette. Maybe I'll even be, be, be fancy and try shade Love Letter as, as a blush topper or something like that. I don't know if I would like that though. Shall we just try? Just for funsies. Shall we? Let me get a flame top brush. Let me just do that. So I'm grabbing shade Love Letter with a synthetic flame top brush. I don't know if it wants to pick it up, but let's see. I, c I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is a cute color. Huh, I never would have guessed that. So, yeah, I know it's all online already. I will link down below where you can find it. L, congratulations on this very, very amazing palette. A very, very cool. I think that it's it's just cool. It's for me in my collection something unique. The way that it is set up, the way that the colors are. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. What can I say? So yeah, that was it for today's video. Let me know. Let me know if you know L. Let me know if you have this palette. If you want to get the palette, let me know down below. Um, and that is going to be it for today. Don't forget to check out my description box for all the makeup that I have on my face as well. And then thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.